Thanks for joining me. Um, I'm really excited about this video because I feel like the concept in my mind has been in the works for a long time. Um, I love a good full coverage, long wearing makeup look, but a lot of the products that I've been using were high end and those were a lot of products I've been recommending too. And so I've had some great requests from people saying, you know, how can I get a really long wearing look, really great coverage look with drugstore products. So I challenged myself to put together a look that I thought was just as good as anything I've been using high-end wise, um, but more affordable products. And not only did I want it to be full coverage, but I wanted it to be really long wearing. I'm all about that. And also something that I felt like looked kind of radiant, you know? The skin didn't look super flat to look at it and totally matte, but it had a little glow in the right places. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I got a full tutorial on how to get this it's look. It's gonna take you from primer to my finishing step for the face makeup. So here we go. So I've already more moisturized and then I'm going to put on my primer. I'm using the Boots Number no. 7 Photo Fix Wrinkle Filler and Primer. This primer seems to do really well alongside the foundation that I'm going to be using. I find that something about this pairing, um, my foundation and the whole look just lasts a really long time. I'm using my CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous foundation. I love that this foundation has a pump and I just do like pretty much almost one full pump. And I just kind of dot it around first, just getting it roughly where I want it, and then I bring in my uh, Sigma F80 brush, and I use that to really get an even blend all over. I think a big part of a foundation's staying power is making sure you've got it applied really evenly on your face, um, so that way you don't start looking patchy. Okay, so really good coverage there, but if you look closely in my eye area, I've got what a lot of people have, and that is um, some darkness right in here, really kind of dark on that inner part of the eye. The best thing to counteract that kind of a look is a peachy tone concealer. The best one that I found from the drugstore and I know this is technically on the verge it's from Target and it's from the Pixie line and this is like a $15 product but it really really is worth it I think it's got great coverage it's called the correction concentrate in brightening peach and it's a great alternative to like benefits erase paste if you've tried that um, it's a little bit thicker it's not quite as um, gooey and moist as erase paste is. so I just dab it right around those dark spots and you can see an instant correction in those areas. And I'm not using much. I'm basically just dabbing my finger in the product. I get about that much on there. And then if I see any other discolored areas, you know, you just pat around it. The warmth of your finger works really nicely with this product. So again, getting a little bit on. Here's a dark area and just kind of then start dabbing it in. If we do a lot of rubbing side to side, we're gonna start picking up the product and actually removing it from the skin, so we wanna just press it right in. So this is just a really good corrector on both dark circles and dark spots. I found it effective in both ways, so um, definitely worth the $15. I mean, I've had this for quite some time. I still feel like I've got a lot of product left in there. You could really stop there concealer-wise if you wanted to, but I do want to add an additional step to brighten, and this is a full coverage look, so it's, it's using a little bit of product here, but I'm using the Maybelline Dream Lumi. This is an ivory, so a shade that is without a doubt lighter than my own skin tone and I'm going to use this in a few key areas to um, just brighten and bring forward the places that I want to come out like my cheekbones so I'm kind of drawing down I'm going with that whole triangle method here you know under the eye but also out I'm going to bring this down my nose and I'm going to hit my chin as well and also just above the lip then I'm taking my P80 which is the uh, baby version of the F80 and I'm going to just blend all that in and I really like to take this light color and get it right up to the lower lash line. You can practically stipple a little bit with this brush um, so you don't remove you know, too much of the product or mess with the under layers of your makeup too much. Next up, I wanna set my under eye area. I want to make it look mattified and perfect, but yet I don't want to make it too heavy with product. So I'm gonna take a really lightweight product that I've been using kind of as a little like drugstore substitution for Bare Minerals Bisque products. It's definitely not a dupe. It is not as full color 
coverages those. But it really does give a nice smooth appearance to that area and it's the e.l.f. mineral booster in sheer so this is kind of like a finishing powder type product and it looks like this it maybe has a slightly pinky tone to it so I just tap a little bit of that in my cap and I'm using this tapered highlight brush from Sigma and I'm just gonna take this right on my under eye area and I feel like when it comes to the contours of my under eye area it almost makes it all seem a little more flattened out. You know what I mean? Now I'm set the rest of my face and I'm gonna stay away from the under eye area since that's got enough product on it as it is. Um, I'm using my NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation. Uh, medium beige is my shade. I'm just gonna get a uh, medium sized brush in there. I'm just gonna buff this in all over the rest of my face. You might say, well, if you've got a great coverage foundation already, why put a powder foundation on top of and it? And I want you to know I'm really using this very lightly and I'm using it because I love the finish. It's not a finish that I think is too matte. Um, but yet it doesn't get me shiny either. Okay, so there's basically your full coverage face makeup. I'm gonna continue on with the other face makeup steps just so you can get the full effect of what's happening here. I'm taking my Revlon Photo Ready Bronzer. This is a matte bronzer. It has four shades in it. It's got a good sized chunk out of it too. I'm gonna concentrate on the bottom most part. If you want a lighter bronze, go for the, like the top two shades. But I'm gonna use this as a little bit of a contour here starting right back by my ear, swirling forward, circular motions, and you can start to see that area just popping a little bit more. Same thing on the other side. This is such a good bronzer. I mean, it's really got to be my favorite matte drugstore bronzer. I'm also going to make sure I get under my chin and jaw area, and I'm going to go around my forehead too with this. Not going for a super like all over bronzy look. I'm just using this in the areas where I want to contour. Then for blush, I think it's really whatever you want to do. Um, staying in line with the radiant theme of this video, I'm going with something that's a little bit brighter. I think it gives just a really nice youthful flush to the skin. So I'm using Peach Blossom from Jordana. Looks like this. It is a matte blush, but you could use a blush with a little bit of shimmer in it too. Just get a little bit on my brush here. It does not take much. And I'm going to swirl this on the outer part of the apple of my cheek and also bring it upward as well. This is such a pretty shade and it's something I think really works well with whatever the rest of your makeup look is. You know, it doesn't really interfere. I'm using my So Bake Bronzer in Tiki uh, from Hard Candy. This is not like a matte highlight, but this is not the most shimmery highlight either. It's kind of in the middle. I'm using that tapered highlight brush from Sigma and I'm just going to do one simple step with this. I'm going to smile and then I'm going to tap it right here on the top of my cheek just like this and it's gonna instantly give just a little extra glow to this whole look I love it and finally a product I did not think I would love but I am totally all about this it's the NYX dewy finish setting spray oh my gosh I've tried the matte finish matte finish works Something well about this and the combination of these products that I've been using um, that covergirl outlast you know is a real nice matte foundation and then you add a little bit of this on top I feel like the staying power is amazing and you get a look that really seems like skin when you're all done and I also like the way this sprays out a really nice fine mist so I just do like one spray of this I go up into the air a bit let it kind of fall down on my face it feels nice and refreshing and you don't come away from this look seeming you know super duper dewy but something about the overall look this gives the skin I think is so radiant and I really like the finished look so that wraps up the face makeup you will notice I have my eyes and everything else done I actually did a separate tutorial on my eye look it's using the Lorac unzipped palette so definitely check that out that video will be coming soon but yeah I've been experimenting with this look this kind of combo of products for quite some time and I've been really pleased not only with the finish on the skin but with the staying power throughout the whole day. For example, I was wearing this look the other day um, and toward the end of my day I took some pictures for my blog and I felt like the skin was looking like literally just as good as it did when I first applied it and that is just an amazing feat for makeup as we all know. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you again soon. Bye!